Hello, lover friends. I'm only going to say this once, so you better listen carefully. Today, I'll show you the once helper in Level. Follow me. Inside this application, I'm working with different podcasts and I have some featured ones. And if I run this in Tinkerwell, you can see I get back my featured podcast here. And on the right, you can see a little info message that I'm querying the database for those. And I'm doing this inside an action class, which gets me all my podcasts. So normally this is not an issue. We can also run this a couple of times. And we can see on the right, we would fetch these from the database a couple of times. So this can become an issue if this um, database call is a little bit heavy and you don't want to do this multiple times within a request. So let's assume, for example, we are using those featured podcasts at different places inside our homepage. So maybe we're using them at the header, maybe in some kind of menu and maybe somewhere else. And we need to call this multiple times, but we don't want to fetch them multiple times. And there is a way we can fix this. So inside my podcast model, I have this static featured function, which just calls this action class, which I mentioned before. And this class gives me back all my podcasts. But now we want to use the once method, which Laravel has to offer here. It's this one here. And let's see if Copilot already sees what I want to do. Yes, he does. And yeah, now we are calling our action inside this callable, which we provide to the once helper method, this one here. So what happens here now is that with the once method, we're providing this callback. And the first time our featured method is being called, we're going to run everything which is in this site, this callback and the once method will cache it. So within the same request, if we're going to call this another time, then we're going to use the cached version and we don't have to call the database anymore. So back here at our example, let's clear out Ray. We're going to run this now three times again, and you can see on the right, we only get this message here once. So this means only one time we had to call the database for those two other calls. We just got the results from the cache. So this means this is now a pretty cool way to use the once method for within the same request if you're going to call a specific method which is maybe a little bit more heavy multiple times you can wrap it inside the once helper and then it will only be executed once and the other times it will just use the same from the cache of course if you want to cache something for longer than the, just this one request you're going to use the normal caching features of level to cache it for an hour a day or even longer Taylor himself coded this feature already quite some time ago, but it was not included in the framework back then. Spassi then created a package out of it, of course, but since Laravel 11, this feature is now baked into Laravel itself. Have you already used it in your projects? Please let me know in the comments and see you the next time. Bye.